Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and if you're new around here, we do fountain pens and related things, lots of related things coming up. Uh, I, what I have today was a bit of a surprise for me, might be a surprise for you. I got a call from a friend that had picked up the mail at the office and said, hey, I think you have a new pen up here. And I said, well, I haven't ordered anything, but I'll come down and check it out. So I get to the office, and sure enough, I had an envelope from a pen store and uh, open that up and there's a pen. There's no note or anything like that. It's just, you know, from the from the store. And I contacted them and said, hey, you know, I uh, got the pen. Thank you very much. You know, I'll be, I'm going to review this and, and I'll send you a link. They said, hey, that was supposed to be a surprise from somebody. So whoever it was that sent me this, let me first say to you, thank you very much. I really appreciate this. And uh, this is a cross pen, a cross Bailey light. You might be familiar with the cross Bailey. This is the lighter uh, plastic or acrylic version. I'm not sure exactly, you know, ex exactly the material that they used. Uh, but this is the lighter version. Some people like a heavy pen. Some people like a light. This is the lighter version. And so I've been using this for, uh, I think it's been a week and a half, two weeks since I got that. Some like that and uh, I really like the pen and I want to share with you my impressions of it so let's uh, flip the camera and we'll dive right into the review all right let's take a look at the cross Bailey light comes with that sleeve and this nice cardboard box a uh, standard cross affair here and their cool logo and established in 1846 in the USA I have um, some cross pins, and actually one of them made that top three for Applebaum. I have some cross pins. Uh, two are roller balls, at least two are ball points, and then I've got a couple of their mechanical pencils. Some of those came in sets. Uh, so I've always appreciated cross pins in those formats, but I've never had a cross uh, fountain pen. So again, I'm really appreciative to whoever sent this pen my way. Uh, so we find the pen, and this one is a black uh, cross Bailey light. Open this up and you will find that there are two included uh, cartridges and let's take a look at that. These are a proprietary cartridge, kind of a, an unusual uh, shape compared to say a standard international or whatever so do be aware of that it is a proprietary cartridge and uh, but this one comes with two black ones and the pen itself comes with, after I put all that back together, this one came with a uh, converter. So let me, let me just jump to that since we're talking about it. And that too, of course, is the same uh, proprietary th thing as the uh, ink cartridge. And one of the things that I noticed, and I've heard other people say the same thing, uh, but I noticed right away that it seems like this is a really good quality cartridge. And uh, of course it functions well, it seems well made, materials are good. Unfortunately I've already got ink in it because I've been using this for uh, however many days since I got it. And uh, but I, I like the the converter. Standard you know piston converter, piston, piston converter, uh, but a proprietary of course to the cross system. And so I keep wanting to pull that off and I'm really having to fight my brain not pulling that off to show you the rest of the, the pen. Uh, so you have, uh, I believe that that's metal. It could be just a chrome looking plastic. I'm not real sure and my uh, trying to look at that through the camera to figure it out is not, not working for me today. My eyes are a little buggy from allergies so I apologize. Uh, let's, uh, let me put this back on and we'll take a look at the nib. I like the style of the pen. This one seems well made, well put together. Uh, very comfortable in the hand. Uh, this is, of course, as I said, is all plastic in terms of the main parts of the barrel and the section. And what I like about this section, uh, before we get to the nib, is that while it tapers down, it's a nice size, uh, you know, fairly narrow down here, uh, but I kind of hold a little bit back anyway. And I just find it a very comfortable pen to write with. I've used it for some uh, class note taking and things like that quite a bit, uh, where I usually use my uh, my Lamy back there, Safari, and I've really liked it. Uh, some people don't like metal sections; they prefer the plastic because it's not as slippery. And this one is not, even though it's it's glossy. Don't let that fool you. I've I've not had any trouble. Good firm grip, doesn't slip at all, and so that makes it good for uh, writing notes and and kind of longer writing sessions. Let's look at the nib while we're here. 
I can get that to kind of show it has the logo, the cross logo, and below that it is encircled uh, that it is a fine nib. And of course it has a plastic feed, which is pretty, you know, a fin feed. That's pretty standard for a lot of modern fountain pens. So you, you're used to seeing all of that. Uh, but I do like how they've done uh, the logo here. And uh, so far, th this is a fine, and it's a good writing nib. I've really liked it. And it actually compares, for me anyway, it compares pretty well to the fine that is in that Lamy Safari, which also compares well, I didn't get it out today, but to the fine in a, uh, the Faber-Castell loom that I uh, reviewed here recently. So the line width and things, as we'll see in the writing test, is really quite simple. So moving on from there, let's put all of this back together and take a look. Uh, very classic design, and I, I like it. Uh, the cross, the way it's stamped in, it's a stamped uh, sheet metal clip, and I think it's it's pretty strong. So it's a good firm clip, but I, I like how they've done that. I like the way the name is in that. I, I'm not comparing these two pens. They're a little, they're, they have similarities and differences. Uh, the uh, Amazon Basics pen, which appears to have run out of stock, probably, uh, uh, I bet that's coronavirus related. A lot of things from China are slow getting over here right now, and that's where it's made. Um, but, you know, on its clip, it had the Amazon Basics, and some people criticized that, uh, that it had that name there. There definitely is a difference between when you look at that pen, which is very well made and a surprisingly good writing pen, uh, but when you see the cross on the clip. And I'm not a label guy. I, I never have been, not on my shirts or anything else. Uh, but I am a cross fan and have been for a long time, and I do like seeing that there. And I just think it's nicely done. Uh, the uh, bands at the bottom here, you see the, those? Uh, if I can get it to focus. I think those look nice. Um, Pretty bright, so that's going to be, you know, depending on your taste, if you like bright work on a pen. But again, I, th I think it's a nice classic design. You look at the top, you've got a, the band here that supports the uh, the clip. That's how that's attached, and those are always good, strong clips, usually. I say always. Usually good, strong clips when they're attached that way. I like that. The finial at the top is just a couple of concentric circles there, you know, dimpled in. And I think that looks fine at the bottom. It is simply black and I like the look of that too. I don't stare at that end of the pen that much so it doesn't affect me much, but I do like it. I think it looks good. Overall, I like the design of the pen. I like the uh, the feel of the pen in hand when writing. The diameter is nice. I'll put the specifications up here so that you can see what I'm talking about. But I find that the, uh, the width, at least for me, that's always, you know, subjective according to a person's own hands but i find it a very comfortable pen to write with and to write for a longer time a lot of notes with so i've really enjoyed the pen let's go to the uh the writing sample and also i'll do some size comparison to some familiar pens probably for a lot of you just to give you an idea of how that stacks up and compares to okay so let's see how the cross pen writes this is again you might be tired of me saying it the cross Bailey light. The light refers to the fact that the normal cross Bailey, just in case you're not familiar, uh, is a metal pen and this one is a plastic pen. So, uh, you know, depending on which material you like better, and that's, that's a personal preference, uh, and which weight you like better, also a personal preference. Uh, you can you can have it either way, and I think that's I think it's pretty cool that they offer uh, a pen in both materials just to uh, widen the appeal. That's not a that's not a bad idea. There might be some other pens that would be good to offer that way. Again, this is a fine, and uh, the ink is a Lamy Blue. Just the standard Lamy Blue. And that is because when I got this at the office, uh, that's the ink bottle that is on my desk. And I just jumped right in and, and filled this pen up and went to writing. It's a smooth writer. And um, I, 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 as I mentioned before, I like that it writes so similarly to the Lamy Safari. Very different nibs and you know very different pens. 
but on paper, uh, if I put them side by side and all my notes, you know, there uh, at the office, uh, well, actually, I'm sitting here telling you that my notes are there and I could show you that. Uh, I think I could probably just show you this. It's, it's, now, you, you hear more feedback, even though you know a lot of you are familiar with a Lamy nib. Uh, it's not exactly uh, the, the most feedbacky nib there is, but if you can hear that, this is a Lamy Safari. And you see how that fine line compares. Uh, that ink's been in there for a while, so it might be a little bit darker, but same ink. So that gives you some idea. You see how similar the line width is. Uh, but this one seems to write a little bit more quietly. Always good to have a test to make sure you guys know I still know uh, the alphabet and my numbers, although sometimes I lose track. And uh, every now and then I like to, I don't have a reason to write in Russian and cursive very much anymore. And I, uh, I have forgotten uh, reams more than I ever knew. I haven't forgotten just what, most of what I've known. I've forgotten more than I knew. So <laughs> that's, I'm only writing my name. Uh, but every now and then, I just think the Russian alphabet in, in cursive looks kind of cool. So every now and then, you might have caught that. Uh, didn't do it there. Every now and then, um, the tines just ever so slightly misalign. And that's just something I need a loop to see. And I've ordered one uh, so that I can correct it. Uh, it's just, just ever so barely. But it's, it's almost, uh, I think it may be that like right there at the end, I just press too hard. And that accentuates it because most of the time, and like I say, I've written pages of pages of notes and it's written perfectly and smoothly. Just every now and then. I may be doing something wrong. Uh, and it's it's because there's just a little bit of spring to the nib. But I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that, both on it and me. Overall, uh, I find you notice that every, every now and then I I seem to I think it's just the way my hand it's I don't think this would do this to everybody. My hand hits just right that I will work that a little bit loose, but it does it fits securely. I think that's just me. So I probably I write notes with it mostly unposted, but I find that the nib overall is quite smooth. I find that uh, as you can see there, I didn't show you this, it's it's got a good wetness for a fine nib without being gushy or anything like that. I think that's really nice and balanced. And let me let me just since I've got it here and it's the same ink. I think that's probably fairly similar. Yeah, so maybe just a little bit more from the Lamy, but quite similar there. That's the cross, so you know. But I like it. Uh, keeps up with, with my writing really well. See there? No problem there. Uh, it <laughs> that's my writing. Uh, but it keeps up well, and I actually find this a pleasant writer. It's good in the hand. It's a smooth nib, and uh, a nice and light, and especially uncapped. Uh, I find it especially then a pleasant pen to write with. And if you're a fan of cross pens, then that's going to be just a little bit more appeal to you anyway. It is for me. I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, but I like, I like it. I like this pen. And it compares uh, kind of in its class. It would compare to pens like this or the Pilot Metropolitan. Of course, the Mel Metropolitan is a, uh, a metal pen and is probably priced lower than its actual worth, you know. Uh, but they compare side by side price wise. But if you don't like metal pens, or not everybody does, or if... Um, you want a section that's more comfortable. I find this section more comfortable than the Metropolitan, even though I, I really like both pens. And the Metropolitan, you just really can't go wrong unless that step down and the thin tapered uh, section is just a bit too much for you. And some people it is. Uh, so it, I would compare it, and I don't. they probably don't intend this to be the cross shopping. I would compare it to this because I've... 
In the same day, I've written with both pens extensively, and I actually think that, uh, from my experience, it compared favorably. It's just, you know, what do you like? Uh, different nib style, but as you can see, they're not that different in what actually meets paper. Uh, both of them uh, write very similarly from that point of view. I don't know, looking at paper, that you'd be able to tell at my notes which one was which. I don't think you could. So size-wise, anyway, Actually quite similar, except that uh, the Lamy retains its width throughout its body uh, more than the Bailey does. Uh, this is just a pencil I had here handy, and this is the Zebra uh, Delgard. I, I'm going to review that here after a while. And great pencil. That gives you an idea of size there. And this, I actually think, uh, style-wise, you know, they compare. And this is the Jin Hao. X750. Is that right? Because I get that wrong every now and then. Yeah, the 750. Uh, quite different. Very similar in appearance. Quite different in materials. This is a much heavier uh, metal pen. And you've got that large number six nib. Excellent, excellent pen for the price that you typically pay. And it's going to be less. But if you uh, if you want one that is very similar looking, I think actually, I think I like the cross a little bit better on looks. Uh, that's taste. Uh, but if you want one that is lighter but gives you a good writing experience, this is nice. And again, that converter is seems to be really well made. That's going to be a downside a little bit in that it's proprietary if you're a cartridge user. But you know, I just I refill them with a syringe with my own ink. It's not that big a deal. I really like it. So the Cross uh, Bailey Light. My take on it is that as a, uh, as a pen in that price range, plastic pen, I find it to be a good writer, a comfortable writer. Uh, it's, uh, I think it represents its class well. And uh, yeah, I would recommend that pen. I'm actually curious uh, to know in the comments if any of you have experience with it and what your impression has been. So please share that in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And God bless you and have a good week.